This is a poem about waterfalls and the solitary drop that starts it all. This is a poem about turning 36 in an Icelandic gay bar with a pint in one hand and a bag of free dinner rolls in the other and not knowing whether what I feel is a harmony of home or a saga I have compelled myself into believing is my blood song, my traitor heart, my fickle feet. I can so easily put aside my mistrust of water whenever I'm taken by its exquisite roar. For everyone back home, it's just water. For me, it's the will of nature to go where it must. This is a poem about moving. The mantra is that green is the pinnacle of purity, but this isn't always the case. I'm 100% sure we're draining the natural world of its meaning. My response to landscapes used to be that there was too much of everything, and I didn't have the patience to let it be or to simply be. Then there was Iceland. Now I ask for every vista to ruin me so I can always see the world with new eyes untampered by expectation. See, I'm such a damn liar. Even with my new sight, I expect something to make me feel alive, as if this is all a picturesque waterfall is good for. Enough can be too much. On the night of my 36th birthday, I looked up and there was the aurora swimming above us. Panet, Erin and I tried to catch it on our phones, but our hands were too slow or not slow enough. Such charmless praise to say a place has changed you when you are constantly changing. But how do you escape something you've run towards? I could be the boy in the saga destined to be both tyrant and poet. Destiny, the force that pushes us towards something meant to be, whether real or unimaginable. Now and then, I forget the sky isn't always electric. I forget how to change back.